Pro. Hello and welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today we're going to look at Cubase 8. Uh, it's just come out today and um, basically this is it. Um, this is the first screen that I've come to. Uh, obviously it looks a little bit different straight away. Uh, what you can see is the work area here, uh, the inspector visibility there. VST instruments and media bay are now acceptable from, or not acceptable, uh, now available from from here. Um, let's have a quick look. Okay, so you can't make that any smaller. Uh, let's go ahead and add a couple of tracks. Let's have a couple of audio tracks. So there you go. Uh, pretty similar. Obviously, we can expand and minimize. Um, the audio tracks as per normal uh, in the inspector section you've got the same as normal track versions chords inserts strip EQ etc sends fader notepad quick controls uh, visibility you can obviously turn on and off as per Cubase 7 7.5 uh, so at first glance it, it's pretty similar uh, obviously this new inclusion here of VST instruments and media bay uh, that that's the first thing to notice so let's just go ahead and let's just drag one of those in that's F3 okay so that's normal Nice there to be able to um, have access to Media Bay uh, and your VST instruments. So let's actually create a track instrument just out. Um, let's just do a reactor. Okay, so yeah, that's that's kind of nice. Uh, it's nice to, to know that they're all visible there. Uh, just looking here, the plus and the minus, the zoom functions have changed slightly. Okay. Zoom full. Okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, so that's it at first glance. Uh, obviously, it does look a little bit different. Um, difference not always better, but I'm sure we shall get used to it. Um, I believe there's actually some new uh, multiband um, items. So let's have a look. If we open up our mixer, F3, and let's click on the inserts and I'm presuming it'll be dynamics uh, multiband compressor lovely okay this is the new cubase multiband compressor let's just loop that section let's go back f2 all right let's just loop this round a second p let's click through a couple of process uh, presets Very nice, you can hear there. Uh, nice to have a multiband compressor within Cubase. Let's have a quick, quick look at the others. Uh, we've got a multiband envelope shaper. That's nice. I can see that coming in really, really handy. I use Envelope Shaper quite a lot, so having a multiband one, that'll be really, really interesting. And we've now got the multiband expander. So let's have a look at that quickly. Okay, so no presets to come with that. Let's put a ratio on it. Okay, I'm sure that'll come in useful. 
So that's the three new a uh, multiband compressors, envelope shaper, and expander. Um, I'll probably go into a little bit more detail with those um, after I've, I've probably spent a couple of hours um, sort of figuring out and working my way around this new new setup. Uh, like I said, it has actually just come out today. I believe there's a lot more features um, to it as well. Just um, a few quick notes. We've got the VCA fader option, uh, which apparently is nice when you have, let's say, a load of drums and you assign it to a drum bus. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot nicer, a lot more natural sounding. Uh, Virgin Territories, uh, which is to do with automation. Uh, so, as you can see there, we've got the automation setting. If, I believe, we put a bit of automation on, on here. Let's minimise that and copy this across a couple of times, maybe. Uh, the idea is this uh, where there's no automation um, it now uh, sort of doesn't do, do anything uh, like you have this line here constant if for instance my automation was to start down there I believe where there's no audio this this um, automation doesn't exist now so it frees up CPU power something along those lines again I'll do a little bit more research into that for you um, render in place uh, which is supposed to be good in the sense that you can see here we've got three separate audio tracks uh, what we can do is render obviously I won't do it with the audio aspect I'll do a separate tutorial on that with MIDI uh, again it's to do with VST instruments and the way you render things um, you can do it with effects without effects through your bus through your master fader again I'll touch on that a little bit more uh, apparently there's a lot more to do with your monitor settings um, again for instance I believe if you open up like we've opened up the mixer there if I was to minimize it to this size and say that's how big I want my mixer and put it onto my second monitor um, every time I open that up it'll open up at the size we've saved it as and on the monitor uh, where it's positioned this is massive, mass massively important within uh, Windows because this hasn't been possible you tend to open up something and it'd always open up in the wrong place and on the wrong monitor uh, what else have we got um, just yeah I think roughly that that's about it there's obviously um, chord pads now uh, to go along with chord track again what I'll do is I'll touch on these individually I'll spend a couple of hours going around it myself and um, yeah basically um, yeah show you what it's all about so if we create a chord track there's chord track and yeah I'll have to have a look into that inspector yeah I should look into that more for you uh, that's just a quick quick overview um, of the new Cubase 8 again like I say which has just come out today uh, I'm going to spend a couple of hours now working through it and uh, do another tutorial for you and break it down onto each individual thing so that's it for now until next time bye bye